guys welcome back to another video um so today is going to be another review video as you've seen by the thumbnail but i do just want to go through a few things before we get started um so first of most significant importance um i'm holding a fs19 pc only multiplayer server open server uh, on sunday at seven o'clock in the evening um only two mods you're going to need are the Bailey trailers and the Northern Coasters of the map. And then you'll be able to join. Uh, the server will be Continental Europe and the game name will be IGN's Game. So make sure to come along uh, and uh, come along and cut some silage, hopefully. Uh, that'll be what we're all up to. Um, and I will be streaming it on the channel as well. So uh, you can join on the stream and give me a chat up in the stream as well. So yeah, that's, that's that. And uh, second thing I just want to say, uh, two, pool, two people, two good mates are getting very close to uh, 1k subs, um, TGD Farming Life and Model Farmer 6710, uh, getting very close to 1k subs, only about 50 away both of them now, so go, definitely go give them a sub, um, think Jap Daffs, sorry, is just in front of the moment, so uh, it's, it's going to be exciting to see who wins that race there, but yeah, go Great content from both of those guys, so go go uh, hit them up, give them a sub from me. Last thing, um, so I want to sort of get these reviews going a bit better now. So I have come up with a new system where I'm going to rate uh, my models um, on a scale of 1 to 10. And I've got this uh, chart here um, from uh, just a bit of paper, and this is going to sort of show uh, the best models, best models being at the top and uh, the worst at the bottom. Hopefully you don't have any too many down there. Um, so yeah, I've the reviews I've done before, I've already put uh, a few uh, scores up on there. So we've got the Britons, Ford and David Brown down there, around six. Uh, Shuko, seven, seven, eight, no, sorry, the Ford 4955, uh, about seven. And then the, uh, the two days. 250R and the 36 is up there at 9.1. So, yeah, we'll have to see uh, what, how the fence does today. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll show you. We'll come up to my old cabinet up here. And a few little models up there, yeah. Uh, they should be coming soon. Here's the fence. So, we'll, we'll grab this girl here. Pop it down on the release station. Put you on my little. Set up there. So I've just unboxed her now, as you can see, and uh, just uh, cut that out just to save you the hassle of watching me struggling to get these things out of the boxes. Uh, so we'll just have a look around the box to start off with. Um, so obviously Wiser is the uh, is the make, uh, cracking cracking make. Definitely make a lot of Fent models. So check them out. Um, obviously you got the green and the the white in the Fent colours, and. Uh, Got the name of the tractor on there and silver plate on the uh, plastic bit down there, which is really nice. Uh, on the side, you just got a picture of the model there. And uh, on the back, you can just see a few features and uh, some nice uh, dimensions of it as well in real life and uh, in the model version. And other side, obviously the same. So yeah, nice box that. Very, very robust, i got to say. Better than the Universe Hobbies ones. Um, so yeah, here's the model. Here she is. So I'll just move you down here because uh, we'll have a look at the model in a bit closer detail. So here she is. Cracking little model, I've got to say. She's looking real nice. As soon as I saw her, you know, I, I really did take a nice uh, eye to her. It does look very nice. Um, so you just got a couple of folding wing mirrors out. We'll just fold them out. And you've also got the beacon. It folds up like on the real, real tractors. <laughs> Uh, she also comes with a little front weight, as you can see there, a nice little front weight. Um, and she also comes with an A-frame, which I like a lot. Um, and I put that on the front of this, actually, most of the time. That weight uh, normally sits on another tractor, actually. Uh, but yeah, A-frame's really nice, and so is the weight. Um, so yeah, she's a lovely little model. She's got a nice front linkage as well, so you've just got the... Uh, move them down there, and then the ram on the ram as well. As you can see, so yeah, and then you've got the top link. I'll just put pop the uh, the weight in for you. Now I thought it would have gone that way around to start off with, but it doesn't fit like that. So you've got to go this way, which 
is quite interesting. And the top link just slides down into there. If you can get it in there, that is. <laughs> like that. And then you lift it up on the rams. And there you go, there's your front weight. So I'm not the biggest fan of how the weight sits on this. So that's why I put the A-frame on. Just show you how the A-frame goes on as well. Just to, just put a few pins in there, as you can see. And uh, just slots right in, like so. As you can see, there you go. A-frame looks real nice on that, I'd say. So yeah, we'll keep that on for a sec. Uh, she does come with little loader brackets as well. But obviously no loader you can put on there. So yeah, just have a little look. Uh, got some nice tyres as well, nice rubber material. Paint job's looking really nice, I've got to say. Uh, really nice colour, got it spot on, I'd say. It's got a very good weight to it as well, this model. Uh, does weigh an absolute ton. It's a lot of metal, uh, as you can see, like on uh, normal sort of Viking, let's say. I've uh, got the 250i in the background. Um, the cab's sort of plastic. Uh, you've got quite a bit of plastic on, on them, but on this model, it's the plastic is very little, which I like a very a lot, definitely. Um, so you've got your air filter on top, like the cab there, and you've got the exhaust on the side. Uh, nice little diesel cap as well, painted. Steps are looking nice as well. And there you go, there's a little view of the back there. Um, some nice tyres, as I said before. And you've got your folding beacon as well, this side here. Fent on the cab. And then moving around to the... To the rear, got a nice, very nice linkage. I've got to say, these wise linkages are proper nice. Um, so, you've got a little CV here, and a few lights, and a number plate uh, holder there. So, I might might put a UK number plate on there at some point. Uh, got a nice stiffness to the links. Uh, I would say they don't go down too much, but uh, no, they they're go down decent enough. Mount, you have got little uh, dips in there. Um, that you can put your front weight in there, for example. As you can see, well, the front weight doesn't fit, so that's a bit of a fail, but <laughs> yeah, you can put uh, sort of nicer implements and stuff on there. And you've also got your top link, top link as well. And some nice little spool valves uh, colouring that. You've got your hitch up here. I think it's like a German style hitch, so it's just up there and uh, it doesn't really move much. It doesn't move at all, actually. <laughs> So it's just there and you just hook your trailers up on there. One thing I might not want, but it's a, it's a German made tractor, so you can, kind of got to expect that it's got all that stuff on it. You've got 50k plate as well on there. And some nice little stickers there actually, you might be able to see just there. Um, some little uh, stickers there, warning signs I think. And some nice rear lights as well, that's for sure. Moving around to the other side. Again, pretty much the same. Got some nice little paint. It's up there, I'm not sure what those are, but it does definitely make it pop out a bit more. I'll just bring the model up to the camera here. Obviously, you've got some nice uh, detailing on that, as you can see. And in the cab, you've got some nice detail as well. I'll just try and show you there. It's quite difficult to show you, but I'll just hopefully give you a little view. Some nice front headlights there as well. As you can see in the cab, just give you a little tour. There you go, that's better. So yeah, that's about it, guys, for this model. Cracking model, i got to say. Um, so I'll probably uh, just do the rating in a second. But she's pretty high, I've got to say that. She's a really, really nice model. Very underrated, I'd say, Visor are. Uh, I'd say definitely say they're up there with uh, Universe Hobbies and uh, Ross. Um, stuff like that. Definitely cracking little uh, make. And, yeah, the weight is one thing I really, really like, I've got to say. Um, so, yeah, lovely little model. I think it's very accurate to real life as well. Um, so yeah, my good mate Techno spent some time with these tractors and he says the model looks pretty good, so I take his word for it. Um, so yeah, nice little model, definitely worth it. If you're, if you're having a look at one of these, I definitely recommend. Um, so yeah, that's about it guys. Um, I'll just move to the rating now. So I'm just gonna write up this rating here. Um, so we'll just put the name of the uh, company, so that's Visor, and then you've got Fent, five one 
four, see. And here's the big reveal, guys, the rating. So I am going to rate this tractor at a 8.6. So there you go, 8.6. Right, so I just grabbed a bit of blue, bit of blue tag there. And uh, the Fenwick 514 is going to go just there. So there you go. Just higher than the 6250R in my opinion, 8.6. So yeah, that's my rating for a cracking little model, definitely worth it. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching guys. Do not forget to come along to my multiplayer server if you can. It'd be awesome to see some of you there. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone.